the candy shop. We speaking on things you not. Just press play and let it rock. Welcome to the candy shop. Whoa. Welcome to the candy shop. We speaking on things you not. Just press play and let it rock. Welcome to the candy shop. Whoa. Feel like we going through mad things. Gotta keep it real when they choose not. We gon' talk about it when the news drop. Welcome to the show where you know we don't fake this. Keep your opinion to yourself if it don't make sense. Hey, 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 Podcast Nation. It is your girl, Candidly Kristen, and this is The Candid Shop, your number one destination for candid conversations. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're a regular listener, welcome back and thanks for your support. So y'all, today I am sitting down for a very special artist spotlight chat with the dopest up and coming rap artist on the scene and my bonus son, Mr. Anthony Nelson, a.k.a. Bus. So if you've heard my show before, you've already heard this young man's talented flow since he is the genius and voice behind the amazing musical intro that precedes all my episodes. It is with immense pleasure and a whole lot of pride that I welcome Anthony Nelson or Bus to the Candid Shop. Welcome, 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 Bus to the welcome Candid to Shop. Candy. It's my pleasure. It's my pleasure. It's my pleasure. Oh my! Listen, it's been way too long. You do when you gave me that intro. What? It's now like three years ago, and then you redid it. Um, I was like, I ain't never changing my intro. This is so fire. I've so been looking forward to having you on the show. So let's just get into it. It's been that long. Three years since the intro. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. That sounds good. It does. It really, everybody be like, your intro is really dope. I'm like, I know. <laughs> I, I, I like most the way you come off the intro with the, with the introduction to the artist. It sets the stage well. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm trying, you know, yeah. it's trial and error with this thing. Sure. So um, first of all, I need you to tell all the folks out there where you got the name Bus from. <laughs> <laughs> man, I got that name from my brothers, man, growing up. I was a I was a a kid who would just do anything. I'll take any deer. Oh, I'll no do way. anything for some a couple of dollars here and there. So they asked me to, you know, do the craziest things, and I would do it. And I guess over time, they just the nickname came. I don't know. You got to ask them for the actual detail, but I just know okay. it came to me as a kid, and I stuck with me, and then people heard about it in high school and it was yeah. over after that okay and i just want y'all to know out there it's bus with two s's okay two s's, two s's. got it got it S's. S's. gotta be two s's yeah. so listen bus um how talk to me about how you started in this industry and what was your inspiration to you know pursue a career in rap yeah where'd that come from Man, uh, I think it's honestly in my blood, but I would say my brothers, they was rapping before me. Okay. You know, they, they're about five, ten years older than me. So I seen them rapping, going, uh, performing, going to the studio, downstairs in the basement, making music, making beats. And I just always thought it was dope how you could put words together like that and have people, you know, sing along with it. And, and them songs be impactful. So right. I used to make the beats for them. And then one day they let me rap a verse. Mm. And this was probably uh, 2007. I probably wrote my first verse. <laughs> okay. And it was over. <laughs> and then after that, I just fell in love with it for myself. Yeah. And then right. here we are today. Here we are today. So let's sure. go back, back, back a little bit. Yeah. to your true elite days. Yeah. Talk to me about that group and why you decided to strike out on your own and just do your own yeah. thing. Yeah, my brothers, man, they laid that foundation for me musically. So it was a group, it was mm -hmm. me and my two older brothers. Um, and we also had a singer, but he departed later on. But for the most part, it was me and my two older brothers. And we were three rappers 
three brothers, three Christians, and mm-hmm. we just fell in love with music and uh, trying to find a way to relate to, you know, people who look like us um, with the same hope that and the same faith that we have. So we decided, well, God put it in us that music was the best route. He, he blessed us with that gift. Yeah. And then uh, as life went on, you know, as I got older and I fell in love with the craft more, more so for myself, like I said earlier, my brothers, you know, they started having families. They started getting married, uh, having kids. And in time, this be- this became a factor. You know, I was getting right. older. I was, I was trying to, you know, really go. And, you know, right. time, time became a factor. And then they gave me the blessing to keep it going. So, yeah. You know, if it was in God's will, I'm going to just keep go, keep it going, carrying the torch and, you know, being impactful any way I can. Well, clearly it has. So, sure. <clears throat> excuse me. So take take me through your process, your creative process. Like, how do you how do you select the beats, develop yeah. the lyrics, which comes first, the, the, yeah. the music or the words? Like, what's your process like? It's all different, honestly, Ma. It's all different. Uh, man, I say if I if, if ideally, I like to sit down and listen to beats first. I'll probably go through about 50 beats before I actually find one that I like. I'm so picky on beats because I feel like beats is, is the first step to a good mm. song. That's the first thing yeah. the listener going to hear is when you press play, they're going to hear that instrument. They're going to hear that melody. They're going to hear that drum. Yeah. So I think it's important yeah. that that's, that's uh, taken seriously with a high standard. So I would say I like to listen to the beats first. But there's also times where I got verses pre-written. And sometimes I like to right. fill in, you know, find something that I could just spit this verse over. You know, you know, I might be in a moment one day, just jot some things down. And then, you know, I might just want to lay it down later. So. But I would say I, I like to listen to beats, find one. Most times I don't even finish a song right then and there. Most times I just write. Okay. Yeah, I just write a couple lines and then come back to it the next day with with some fresh thought. Okay. So I can okay. now. I do you have um? Anything. Yeah. Okay. Do you do your own beats or do people give you beats or a little of both? At this point, I don't I don't make beats at all anymore. I I just get them. Oh, yeah, I just get them. People that I know send them. Okay. Uh, producers that I network with throughout uh, okay. my short career. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. It's getting longer every year. Yeah, for sure. Okay, so you don't do your own beats at all anymore. Well, that's some growth because now people are sending you their beats. So that's what's up. I still love the process though of like producing beats. I like to uh, sit in a room with a producer sometimes and we kind of bounce ideas off each other as far as sounds. And uh, I feel like mm-hmm. that helps me write when I can actually, uh, you know, articulate the vibe that I want to hear through the beat. Right. And it, right. it, it allows me to like open up more freely to write. So gotcha. I still enjoy making beats though. Okay. All right. So, you know, some people have rituals and routines. Do you have any that help you like get into that creative zone or are you always in that zone? No, it takes candles sometimes, a lot of candles (laughs) and uh, ginger ale. (laughs) Those, those are probably my two things. I feel like I got to have. Really? Candles and a lot of candles and ginger ale. And I like dim lighting. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah, that's well, my that's setting for to, to try to get myself in that zone. Okay. Yeah. All yeah, right. Good, I like that question. Okay. <laughs> um, all right. Let's talk a little bit about Make It Count Volume One and Two. Yeah. Both of those kind of carried or seemed to me to carry a significant message. So yeah. what was the inspiration number one behind the tag title? And was there a message that you were trying to get out with those two EPs? Uh, for one, the brand, the umbrella of everything that I'm doing, <clears throat> which is an acronym, MIC, which is an acronym for mm-hmm. Make It Count. 
and that's uh, you know the the making everything count the the hard times the bad times the uh the trials the tribulations the good the bad making everything count for something bigger than what it may feel like or look like on the surface um and you know i use a verse from from the bible james 1 verse 2 mm -hmm. and it's speaking to you know basically considering everything that you go through on, on a day-to-day -day basis as pure joy as hard as it may seem you know just trying to dig the blessing out of it as much as you can even in the storm and it and you know it shapes you so the brand of that was just making it count and you know trying to encourage people to you know keep your head above water um you don't got to throw in the towel uh hard times don't last forever even if they're doing this life it won't in the next so just trying to encourage and uh uplift and i feel like that was a great uh visual to even put on merch is it, relatable yeah yeah uh, it looks good and it honestly yeah. came about through one of my other friends named ali <laughs> and uh we was in the studio one day and i was playing him a song and i kept saying make it count make it count repeatedly throughout mm -hmm. and he stopped the song and was like, yo, you should basically, he basically said you should brand that. You should yeah. uh, bring that to life a little bit. And we looked at each other and I, I, I had to run with it from there. You know, I, you know, I talked, you know, prayed about it, got some guidance on it and it fit. So that's where we are does. right now. And, and, I, and shout not out for nothing. For bringing that to life. Yeah. Yeah, shout out to Dante. But mm -hmm. and it also spells Mike, you know. The that's, MIC. That's, so. that's another that's another acronym to it. That's another punch mm -hmm. line. Microphone yeah, yeah. Mike, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, I right, look at that. <laughs> every time I see it, I'm like, that's that's dope the way it's two different things because you definitely yeah. be on the mic. So um you know what you tap this. Yeah. Um now talk to me about your new EP between two worlds yeah that's probably my my closest project to me personally because i, I was going through a, a, a big transition stage in my life um i just had my my first son at that time Yay. doing that music yeah shout out to jace my first boy my first son uh you know i was dealing with that transition in life i was dealing with not feeling like you know, I'm I was to be where I want to be as far as musically, and even in life sometimes. Right. Um, you know, a hard time. I was trying to battle through life. Life just hit, and yeah. music. That's where I was at in my life, and it, it, it showed it shined through the music. And that, I titled it "Between Two Worlds" because I feel like I was here one day, and the next day I was here. So in such a quick time mm -hmm. so i feel like yeah. i was somewhere in between i didn't know where i was at so i was just trying to find my way and you could hear it through the music right mm -hmm. just the journey of that year half a year so mm -hmm. i feel like that was the perfect title to, to describe where i was at and then the music was uh was very uh honest i should say i like honest music so yeah. Do you think that your style, your sound has evolved from make it count to between two worlds? And how, if you if you think it has, how mm -hmm. has it? Yeah, I would say it has for sure. Lyrically, I feel like I got better as an artist. You know, you keep doing something over and over again. You're bound to grow. Mm -hmm. you, you can grow negatively or you can grow, <laughs> if it's not for you, you're going to grow negatively. If it's for you, you're going to grow positively. And right. I, I was stayed at it and I got better with uh with what I was saying. I grew in my faith. I I went through life. I grew as a man. My ear for music and what people enjoyed from me as an artist. Mm. I, I figured out my sound and nice. yeah, I definitely feel like I grew a lot. Definitely. Yeah. I do too. Even in even so, in the, even in the way I take criticism, I feel like I grew. Mm, I, and I that's important be, for sure for sure i used to be quick to shut people down even if even if it's not in that moment 
I remember it and I won't come back to you. You mm-hmm, know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But as I grew, I feel like I can, there's value in what they telling me, telling me. That goes back to making it count. Even if it's not something I see eye to eye with, I can still get something from what's going on. So yeah, I, I definitely Absolutely. think that's Cause sometimes we be too close to stuff and we don't want to hear it. And that doesn't help you grow. You can't right. always have yes people around you or people that's just going to agree with and anything. So yeah, that's important. It's impossible to grow like that. Like that. No, you're absolutely right. So uh, it's looking to the future. Is there a specific like direction or evolution that you see for yourself and your music? If it's God's will for me, I would love to do music full time. I would love to be able to provide for my family doing something I love every day. And even beyond music, just being able to put myself in position to impact people around me, impact my community, impact, you know, those who've been supporting me from the beginning on a larger scale. You know, so I would love to five, 10 years from now, be able to do that every day bringing hope to people okay. musically and just on a on a life basis i think it's gonna happen so um if, if you could right now pick one artist living or de- or dead to collaborate with who would it be and why well i ain't gonna lie lately i've been in my in my real soulful bag mm-hmm. <laughs> um Man, <laughs> shout out to my mom because my mom likes Janae Aiko. Mm-hmm. So uh, I've been listening to her a lot lately. I would love to collab with her. I don't know if that's the only one. You want me to give like one in particular, like only one? Like, well, don't have to be. The question was one, but you can tell me who, like, are you, if you had like, like just that one everything artist. you wanted. If you had every everything you wanted, what artist? I'm gonna say plural, not just one. Would you want to collaborate with? I probably go Nipsey Hustle. Okay. Just because of uh his independence and and business and uh just his message from running the race until until you yeah. cross that finish line and embracing whatever comes in between that. I could relate yeah. to that, and uh, just musically, I like. I, I think he's a dope artist, a dope spitter. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so Janae Aiko and Nipsey Hussle. Okay, all right. Janae so, Aiko presently, and then Nipsey Hussle presently, like, right? That one. Yeah, got you, <laughs> got you. All right, so do you have favorite tracks? And I'm talking about on <clears throat> Make It Count and Between Two Worlds. And are there any lyrics or verses that like hold spe- really particular significance to you on any track on those two or three EPs? I know my fave. You already know my fave on Make It Count Volume One, but stay yeah. true. I stay still true. rock that. <laughs> it's crazy because I honestly was going to say that one honestly because that's I said swear my dreams are taking long. I was pissed but never stalled. Mm-hmm. Make trip, I never fall. Stay true to who you are. Can't yeah. win without a war. God came and healed these scars. Late nights with all my dogs. I can see it from afar. See his days like these. I think that pain made me strong. Had purpose all along. Whether right or whether wrong. When my dog stuck inside a jam, I'm the one they call. Felt good to talk to sauce. Before you walk, gotta crawl. If you question God long enough, bound to know he bound to respond. Better answer when he call. Yeah. That's one yeah, of my that, verses. absolutely. <laughs> and it speaks to I feel like it's, that that verse spoke to where I'm at today. Like I feel okay. like I wrote that back then for where I'm at today. Nice. That's gonna help me get through. That's that's yes. definitely one of my favorites for sure. <laughs> absolutely. That's probably gonna be always number one. Not that I don't like others, but that one, that yeah. was the one for me. If if I had to pick right. another one, I would say Highway Love. Is is one of my <laughs> best songs. I'm maybe not my favorite, but I think that's one of my best songs. Yeah, yeah. I think that connects with everyone. Yeah, I like that a lot too. I think that's Doreen's favorite too. Yeah, um, I think so. so you know, the music industry period 
can be challenging, uh, especially for up and coming artists. So as somebody that's been doing this a little bit, what advice do you have for aspiring artists out there just getting started? I would say find your sound. Find, find, mm-hmm. find, find with, find yourself as an artist first, like what you want to talk about, you know, make right. it, it gotta be believable. Then I would say find your sound, and I would say push it. <laughs> Don't give up. <laughs> As uh, you know, find your sound, master master your sound, and 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 be consistent through even through the hard times. Like write, write, write. Try to write through them, them writer blocks when you don't really when you don't really feel like waking up. You know, try to try to get a workout yeah. in every day, and find your sound and master it. Can't nobody sound like you. Yeah, that's so important because I get so tired of hearing folk that sound just like everybody else. Yeah, it don't even be believable. You, know. <laughs> you can hear it. <laughs> no. Nope. So, Bus, as an artist, what legacy would you like to leave in the world with your work? I would say ultimately, they, ultimately that I help someone save their soul. I think I think it's bigger than it's bigger than where we are right now. It's bigger than it's bigger than this life. I would say if I can push someone to to the faith, I'll be happy with that. If if I can if I can encourage one, I feel like I've done my job. If I can Amen. impact one person, I feel like I've done my job. Absolutely, I'm like that too. If I can, if somebody gets helped by one yeah. podcast that I put out, then I'm happy. Right. Yeah, for sure. So tell us, tell me what's next for Bus in terms of both your music and your own personal growth. You got some upcoming projects, any new music coming out? What you got going yeah. on? Yeah, for sure. I say top of the top of the year, first quarter, maybe second quarter, ideally, I'm going to drop a tape. A small tape, maybe four or five track tape, okay. leading into a big album that I want to do come summertime, springtime, summertime, okay. and uh, probably thirteen track album, an official album. Everything else been titled mixtapes. I want to put together an actual body of work come summertime, yeah. spring, spring summertime, and you know, in between. And this that, gonna be all new music. All new music. Both of them projects will be all new music. Nice. Both of them. And I still I'm thinking about doing another Valentine's Day pack, little two <laughs> two pack love song. Try to keep that going. Mm-hmm. I was getting good response okay. on that, good feedback with that. Mm-hmm. You know the love season is right around the corner, so give people something to Indeed. get through in the kitchen. <laughs> yeah. And then in between that, trying to get back to some community events, uh okay. back to the heart of it. Um then I want to have a big showcase. It's funny you say performing. I want to have a big showcase sometime this this year, um, next year yes. I should say, and then uh, have everybody come out that I did songs with from the beginning to the to where we are today and just celebrate the journey. Oh, I would be there for sure. Oh, oh, yeah, Keep gonna me posted. You, you're going. We're going to have a table and live stream the whole thing. Oh, wait a minute, man. Yeah, okay, let's do it. Let's do it right. That's what I'm saying. We're going to yes, do it right. Yes, indeed. All right. I'm so looking forward to that. That would be so awesome. So listen, it would not be an artist spotlight if the artist didn't do us a little something, something. So what you got for me? I'm trying to hear some of them bars. Mm. Them. We heard a little bit earlier, but I want to hear something else. So what you got? Your whole life a lie. Look in the mirror like, who am I? I know in rough times they touch lines like suicide. My mama take her left and her right and then she combine. I was blind to my feelings at first like dotted lines. Can't color. Whoever get out of line, I ain't got the time. Shove callous, son, you get pushed aside. Never mind, it's best if you pick a side. See me zoom by. Who hit the corner eye like the new guy? Never get too low, I'm never too high. Take July 5th and treat it like the 4th of July. Better stack your money when it's ugly, you can get by. Trying to pull strings to make knots like a shoe tie. Couldn't, couldn't live through what I've been through. Straight damage. Been peeped you, you see through like panoramic. 
Umbrellas in your glass, your toes is where the sand is. Don't panic. Translation for where they landed. Ride 3 a.m. trying to figure how to expand it. Left hand on the wheel, the shoulder is kind of slanted. Never by luck was God or no, we planned it. Got it out the trunk, we're hunked and hand to hand it. I'm thanking God for all these blessings as I clearly stated. Just the assistant to the chef, I barely made it. Before he even seen the light, death nearly grazed him. My June bug, a warrior, Gary Payton. Amen. Nice. Nice, nice. nice. I just love your flow. Your voice is just, I can't even picture you doing anything else besides basketball. That was, you know. Oh yeah, them days. Basketball in this. <laughs> See, them days sound like them Dorian. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Shoot. That was amazing. You're amazing. Yeah. This has been an amazing chat. I, you know, I personally can't even begin to tell you how proud I am of you, both as a as an artist and just a young man. Like, I, I'm so grateful that when we moved up this way, that Dorian linked up with such an amazing group of young men and sure. you guys are still around and still friends and that's freaking cool. Sure. So thank sure. you so much. You, you the bomb.com and you know. I want to you know. say thank you. I appreciate you. You know, you've seen me since I was a boy, sophomore in high school <laughs> and to a man that yeah. I am today. So, Indeed. you know, everything you're saying means something to me. And I, yeah. I admire the consistency that you're doing with the podcast 100% because I know it ain't easy. I know the labor. So I yeah, took my it's a labor and love. That. Thank you. It is a labor and love. And listen, I, from the, the depths of my very soul, wish you crazy, crazy, stupid success in any and everything that you do with the music, with whatever you endeavor to do. I just, I wish you all the success in the world. I appreciate it. Genuinely. So, thank you. Thank you for being here. And guys, buses with two S's. Contact info will be in the show notes along with uh, his social media handles, links to his music. So go check him yep. out. Yes, indeed. You got to check him out so you can hear more than that little intro because it gets better and better. Don't forget to visit my website, y'all, at www.thecandidshop.com. Candid with a K. Listen to this episode and a bunch of other ones. Drop a review, share the show. And until the next time, I want you all to keep it safe, keep it healthy, and keep it candid. True. And all I want to be is true. And all I want to be is true. I feel like I wrote this from a personal place or something. <laughs> and all I, don't I want to be is true. Let's make it count though, for real. Yeah. And I uh, swear my dreams are taking long. long. I was pissed but never stalled. Stop. Made trip, I never fall. Never. Stay true to who you are. Can't win without a wall. Yeah. God came and healed these scars. Late nights with all my dogs. And I can see it from afar. Yeah. See his days like these. I think that pain made me strong. Had purpose all along. Whether right or whether wrong. Oh, no. When my dog, he's stuck inside a jam. I'm the one they call. Hello? Felt good to talk the sauce. Before you walk, gotta crawl. Told him question God long enough. That man bound to respond. Did the same thing with Paul. Better answer when he called. Yeah. We ain't seeing out of eye, still paid a visit to his mom. I still care regardless yeah, of whatever I still paid a visit. Look, almost gave up on my dreams because I felt I wouldn't pop. pop. And that burden weighed a lot. Word. Lost a lot, but gained a lot. Thank God I stayed true. A big stage I never rock. Even if I touch one, I touched a lot. I'm not just saying that to be cool. I, I really mean that. I never compromise who I am for the betterment of somebody else. If you can't accept me for, you know, for who I am, then <laughs> we don't need to rock. That's real talk. Yeah. Boy, I know that ain't the real you. Speaking factually, we ain't believing all that struggle you be rapping, G. Sell your soul just to make it happen rapidly. Uh, just put some chrome up in your mouth, just like a cavity. Wait, not me. You gotta let it happen naturally. Uh, it means more when you watch it grow gradually. I hope I change the game for those coming after me. I need the key to every door. I'm the faculty. Talking on the balcony, but watch where you vent. They want you happy, but they never want you happy as them. And yeah, you ain't happy with them. Think you lie to yourself. You gotta learn to listen up and keep and your pride on the shelf. Be See, I've been trip tripping, LMA, just trying to get it right. Ooh, this gonna take 40 days and 40 nights. Days like these, I gotta stick to the calling. See, I've been moving in silence, let my results do the talking. Flow sick, I might vomit. 
I don't speak on this often. Thought I'd touch on the topic, so is it cool if I'm honest? Find out he did my mom dirty more than once and I lost it. Wanted to do something to him when I first got the knowledge, but look. Hey, Lord, I ask you, keep me humble. Cause when it come to pride, you know I'm liable to stumble. And shout out to my pops, but he had his own struggles. Mama can't raise a man, and I ain't never had an uncle. Ironic, last week I woke up feeling brolic. Invest in yourself, I love it when we see a prophet. Frames on, dressed in all black like I'm gothic. Let rumors be rumors, we ain't clearing up all the gossip. Got comfortable winning, but I was bound to take some losses. My old head told me bounce back, figure out why I lost it. See, when you taking risks, you can't be worried about precautions. Just gotta pay the price and care less about what it's costing and all the while stay true every decision relationship experience whatever realm you in make it count man stay true to you no matter what they selling no matter what they telling you being you is beautiful what's bigger than you is bigger than me it's bigger than us I promise you until I meet my death, I'm gonna make it count.